Hello everyone, it's MGTOW Jesus. I wanted to reach out to you. I've been really frustrated lately with what's been going on. And I decided to use this picture to help illustrate the frustration that I'm having. All the infighting with Teal Deer, Barbarossa, Stardusk, Attacks on Sandman, and many other MGTOW that have come and gone seems like you guys were more focused about your own damned egos than you were about helping people, than you were about what MGTOW is about. The MGTOW philosophy and helping people and in, in giving these men direction, clarity, some answers, some truth without the gynocentric filter over it. So I'm telling you, I've stayed out of the fight. I've basically ignored it. I don't even know what half the topics were about that you guys were fighting about. But I know that you've caused some real harm to the thriving MGTOW community that we had. And so, yeah, get the fuck out of my temple. Get the fuck out of MGTOW. Get your shit and get the fuck out. Men and women alike that have come into this movement, that have come into this social circle, and have decided that they're going to push their own agendas on people. And that they're going to deface one person over the other. Have a little infighting war. And they bash younger men as if they have no wisdom to share. I'd respect the, the young child that can sense, that can put their hand out and see that the oven is, feel the oven is hot. They feel the heat and know that that's not a good idea than I would the child that has to be burned once or twice before they get the hint. You older gentlemen who've been burned by women a couple times, it's easy for you to decide not to, 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 to walk away from them. It's easy for you to give up on them, as I have. And you don't have any respect for the wisdom of these younger gentlemen, these men that are fighting against their prime instinct, they're in their prime with their youth, their strength, their energy, their health, their sexual libido, and you have no respect for these young men that are willing to give that up, walk away from that. They're willing to actually control it. I find them to be more wise than you. And you want to sit here and have these little banters back and forth. For what? To be more credible than the next? Why don't you guys just go have your little measuring contest in private? Don't take your silly little ego trips and make them the voice of MGTOW. Make them the, the representation. You gave the social justice warriors exactly what they wanted. You decided that your foolish little games were more important to you than the message. I'm MGTOW and will forever be MGTOW. I'm bringing us a little bit of clarity to this. I'm tired of your idiocy, of your short-sightedness, of your lack of thought and reflection I'm tired of it I'm 30 years old I've been married technically I'm still technically married but we separated four years ago within months after separating abruptly separating she got with another man had another child and regretted everything she did but guess what? I got my daughter. And I really don't care what she decides to do with her life. I got lucky. I got very lucky. Because I see videos of men on the internet being just blatantly abused by the court system. By cops being called on them when they show up to pick up their child because the woman just doesn't feel comfortable. And that's enough for them to ignore court order. 
legit legitimacy to her claim or not. She could just be doing it to make his life harder. And don't pretend they don't do that. Because that's their only way of getting you. And they prey on that concept that they're weaker than you. That victim concept that they can use to get what they want. And at every turn, these men are bleeding. Financially, emotionally, and sometimes literally. Just to have a chance to love their children. To be a part of that child's life. To make some impact. Some whisper in the dark. Something. And MGTOW came along to raise the awareness of this kind of treatment. So that men and women hopefully can reconnect. And then you guys want to fight over who doesn't understand what and some this guy's a pickup artist and that guy's full of shit get the fuck out that's enough if I have to whip you boys into shape if I have to be the voice out there that people can say well that's what I wanted to hear well I don't want to be an echo chamber but you guys you you caught my attention and I came into MGTOW because I believed in the message. I believed in purpose. I believed in the motivation behind it. And then this ugly, agenda-driven, perverted concept started rising up. And you know what? You showed your true colors. Well, I judged them by the actions of their character, the contents of their character, the actions they take versus their age, their race, and that's another thing. What in the world was going on in MGTOW? When all of a sudden it was MGTOW's not for black people? Where did they get that idea? They must have got a strong enough idea to see a reason to post those videos. You gave them something. And if they were posting these videos for shock value, fine. But where was the repercussion to it? Where was the response? Saying, no, no, MGTOW is for men. We don't care about what race you are. That's irrelevant. I thought I could leave it to you to handle that conversation. But I see I can't now. I remember being on public uh, talks with um, MGTOW United. And... Uh, he was driven out. He's not like me, though. He's not as articulate, but his value system, I can respect at least. And I did post a few times saying, hey, man, I think you're going off the deep end. Because he was f angry. But his angry, his anger, he verbalized, he, he articulated it into what was sounding like just straight-up sexism or misogyny, whatever you want to call it. I think he was just getting tired of playing that game. And he just saw no purpose in it. And he saw those around, those who were the most influential in the movement, were just full of shit. And he's gone. You know, I love those little angry MGTOW videos. Some I thought weren't always that great, but you know what? He was speaking his mind. And no, he doesn't have $10 billion and he can't run for president. But he's speaking his mind anyway. No one could respect that, apparently. And we lost a guy that was at least willing to put out content regularly to keep the blood flowing. He was a heartbeat in MGTOW. Don't always agree with everything he had to say or how he would say it, but... He put a lot more effort into it than I did, and I feel like I may have failed him in that right. I listen to Sandman. I listen to Sargon of Akkad. You know, Sargon, I wouldn't say, is MGTOW. He's, you know, he's married or whatnot. But his anti-feminist views are very synonymous to MGTOW views. You know? 
forgive me, I'm not saying Sargon is MGTOW or trying to make some claim. I'm just saying I like what he has to say. And there's this heartbeat. There's this movement that's happening in the world. Men are waking up to it. And we're seeing that we shouldn't be afraid to question them. We shouldn't be afraid to question women. We shouldn't be afraid to voice our opinions and then stand by them. And I guess I, I, I was lazy. I am not without sin, quote unquote. I was lazy. I was impartial and passive about it. I am tired of seeing all of this happening to something that I actually care about. And then some of these great minds and these these men that I respected in the MGTOW community have fallen for the silly childish games. We're watching the social justice warriors eat themselves alive as we speak. They're questioning themselves. They're going after each other. One will claim the other of this and that and and we're watching them make a complete ass of themselves. And no one in the MGTOW community wanted to say, hey guys, don't do this anymore. Some did, but they were part of the argument. You know, whoever flung the arrows first, it, it, I, I will give MGTOW movement online the, the something really... Uh, really good praise though we kept the we kept it pure for some time and um, I'm not trying to say I'm a purist I'm just saying let's keep this on task let's make sure the message gets out there clear and concisely let's stop with the fighting and we can move on I could have made a more angry video, I could have been more stern, but I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to raise my voice. I don't think I need to puff up. I think the concept is very clear. My purpose is very clear. I don't ever want to hear about these silly little gripes and fights you're having with one another. One person says, oh, it shouldn't be this way. The other person says, yeah, it should, it should be this way. Get the fuck out. You take your own little personal agenda, you take your own little concept of what you think MGTOW should be, and realize that it's bigger than you. MGTOW is men going their own way. It's a leaderless movement, but there are those that carry great influence. Understand what influence you have. Understand what impact you can make. Be it a great one, small one. Always, always make sure you're following along that path to getting a good message out to these young men and older men and even close friends. That they don't have to worship women. They don't have to feel bad that they enjoy their strength. They don't have to be feel guilty that they want more out of life than sex. And that there is more to fulfillment of life, of your time on this planet, than just chasing a vagina. I'm so tired of it. Look, seeking female approval, that's society telling you that your approval is no longer valid. Your approval is no longer meaningful. It used to be that women and men sought the approval of men. If a man said, I vouch for him, that was a big thing. When a man says, by my standards, by my level of character, I believe this person, male or female, young or old, is worth it. And that was enough. Now it's more of like a traditional thing. They just say in jest. They say it in as almost like a, hey, remember back in the good old days? Like it's some renaissance remembrance to say to one another, you know, I vouch for this man. <laughs> but uh, if a woman doesn't approve of him, 
then his content of character is irrelevant. No one seems to care. That's wrong. I want it to be individualism. No more of this collectivism where everyone's just bundled up into these groups uh, categorized by race or gender or ideology. Treat people on an individual basis. It's that simple, and I guarantee there will be those that come along and take advantage of that, of your trust. And there will be those that were looking for people just like you, because they are just like you too. And they go, oh my gosh, a real friend. Oh man, I thought I was the only one. Have some respect for yourselves. Have some respect for what it is that you represent right now. This is a turning point in history. This will be reflected upon decades from now. And they look back and say, and then history repeated itself. And men once again reclaimed their place in this world. Reclaimed their value in society. Took back what was taken from them willingly. Men were tired of being lied to and controlled. They set aside their own sexual primal desires for real intellectual clarity. I want them to look back at this 20, 30, 40 years from now when great changes have occurred in our society and they say, this is where it started. Otherwise, we'll just be an anecdote. Oh, by the way, at one point they there was this slight little uprising of men, but they started fighting with each other like little girls. like little children and it took another 15 20 years for there to be any uh, for there to be another movement or there whatever the history book may say do you want to be part of that little playground scrabble you know that little playground rough and tough or do you actually want to be impactful do you actually want to make a difference in the most minuscule way, but always carrying the torch for character, truth, you know, and pure philosophy. I am not asking you to change your ways. After all, this is men going their own way. And I'm not going to pretend that I know the best way to go. I'm not going to pretend that if you go a way that I don't agree with, well, then you're not being productive. That would be too bold of me. Who am I to say? This is a philosophy that hasn't been tested yet. No man has started in a MGTOW lifestyle and lived until the day he died and had something to say about it yet. It hasn't been proven. It's still theory. It's still a hypothesis. I apologize. It's still in its testing stage. It's in its beta stages. We can determine how this will finish. We can determine what it's like to be MGTOW. You guys want to fight over who's got the most MGTOW in them? I don't understand. So leave your comments in the sections below. Let me know what you think on Twitter, Facebook, and blah blah blah. But yeah. I'm tired of the cheap shots at Barbarossa. I'm tired of the baloney that I've had to hear about Stardusk, and I'm tired of people attacking Sandman, and I'm really tired of all this teal deer baloney. And then, of course, what's with all the female voices that we had come into MGTOW? And what frustrates me the most is we had female voices come into MGTOW, and then there were men of great influence in MGTOW saying, yeah, let's bring them in. We're all inclusive. And the men that said, no, no, this could be the downfall of MGTOW. And instead of reflecting on that concept and thinking, well, maybe it is, let's take a look and really thinking about it subjectively, you wolves in sheep's clothing, you just jump down the throat of these men, of these fellow MGTOW, and you said, well, then you're no better than the feminist. Well, then you're no, you're a misogynist. You're one of those angry red pillars that you, you must be in the early stages. Oh, you don't know. We know better. 
he didn't even consider. And then poof, what happens? As soon as a female has something to say about Stardusk or Teal Deer or whomever, some younger MGTOW, some smaller channel, oh, oh my gosh, all of a sudden that person has something to say about it to her. And then, oh no, you've got to have these influential guys come in and stamp out like whack-a-mole against these smaller channels. For what? So the woman can keep talking shit? Did you forget? Very disappointed that the same people that brought me into MGTOW, that helped me through um, a very crucial year of my life, of not being able to see my kid for a while, dealing with my job at the time, dealing with the betrayal of my, uh, my abusive ex-girlfriend and the other abusive ex-girlfriend I had before that one. And then here came this MGTOW. Here came this idea, and here came these men that were like, hey, come on. This makes sense. And then to watch these same, these same voices turn on one another as soon as women show up, it was a lot. I, I couldn't believe it. I thought you were better than this. So I'm done. I'm done. I'm done playing this little game. I will whip each of you back into shape. Or you can get the fuck out. The door's open. Go. Get out of MGTOW. There will be many more that will fill those seats. There will be many more out there that experience the things that you experienced and will come and find us. How dare you think you can own MGTOW? And you say, oh, I never claimed to own it. Well, your actions are that of owners. You acted like this was your puppy. This was your baby. You could do it with it as you wished. Well, you know what? It was never yours in the first place. Thank you for being brave enough to come out against the tide of, of hate speech and shaming language and, and helping us have the, and arming us with arguments, with points, with facts, with logic and philosophy. Thank you for that. I just don't understand how such clarity could come from people so easily fooled. I guess there's truth in the comedy, right? Well, I think I'll end this video. I appreciate everyone who wants to hear this, and your comments are definitely important to me. Please, reach out. You can hit me up on the Facebook. I've started using Twitter again. Ugh don't really want to use Tumblr, but I will if I have to. You know, and of course, I'm always open to conversation here on YouTube. Thank you for your time. You guys have a great day.